Hi everyone, our subject today is in towing, out towing, and to walking in pediatrics. Basics Tibial torsion, twisting internal or external of the tibia may be associated with femoral torsion. Medial or internal tibial torsion associated with in towing, most common. Lateral or external tibial torsion associated with out towing. Normally defined as within two standard deviation of mean. Femoral antiversion is normal. More specifically, the distal aspect of the femur, femoral condyle, is normally rotated medially, it twisted anteriorly, relative to the proximal aspect, the femoral head and neck. Femoral antiversion is greatest at birth and decrease via normal bony remodeling gradually until age 8 or 9 years to 15 to 20 degrees of antiversion, which is normal. The rotational variation can occur anywhere between the hip and the foot. Two walking is frequently a benign condition but warrant careful assessment. History. Birth history common in first born baby. Pain or limping may indicate another diagnosis. Metatarsus adductus, torticollis, developmental uh, dysplasia of head may be associated with the other congenital uh, condition that result from immobility in uterus. Functional limitation, child trips and fall frequently may suggest other diagnoses such as mild cerebral palsy, especially if abnormal birth history, abnormalities in developmental milestone, and physical finding consistent with cerebral palsy. Physical examination, if child is ambulatory, watch gait and assist for foot progression angle, the angle formed between the axis of the foot and the axis of forward progression of gait. Also assess other aspect of gait, stride, heel toe gait, candence, limping, other abnormalities, unilateral or bilateral torsion, leg length discrepancy, hip abnormality, contractures, spasticity, thigh foot axis, with the child prone, the knee flexed 90 degree and the ankle is at uh, neutral, measure the difference between the axis of the foot and the axis of the femur. If the thigh foot axis is internal, this is suggest uh, internal tibial torsion. If uh, external, suggest external tibial torsion. A transmalular axis with the child seated and the knees flexed uh, to 90 degree, assess the malleolar axis in the reference to the coronal plane, less reliable than uh, thigh foot axis. Look for abnormalities of the foot, metatarsus adductus or club foot may be a primary cause of entowing. Significant uh, calcineo valgus may be a component of out towing. Careful neurological exam to see if in towing is related to mild neurologic abnormalities such as mild spastic diplegic cerebral palsy. Physical exam uh, tricks torsional profile consists of foot progression angle medial hip rotation in extension to assess femoral torsion, lateral hip rotation in extension to assess femoral torsion, thigh foot angle to assess tibial torsion, transmalleolar axis to assess tibial torsion, and configuration of the foot. Kissing patella occurs when bilateral increased femoral antiversion uh, causes the patella to face one another, giving the appearance of kissing patella. How to approach the child with in towing, out towing, or toe walking? Uh, after performing history and physical examination, if it is in towing, uh, if the foot is normal in the examination or abnormal, if it is normal, differential diagnosis, internal tibial torsion, 
internal femoral torsion and at vestic gait toe. If it is abnormal feet, differential diagnosis, metatarsus adductus talibus equinus, club foot, plantar flexion, forefoot, midfoot uh, adduction, metatarsus adductus, hand foot equinus and varus. If it is out towing, differential diagnosis, external femoral torsion, external tibial torsion with calcineo valgus foot, pis planus flat foot. If it is two walking, differential diagnosis, habitual two walking, equinus gait, neuromuscular disorder, cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, spinal cord abnormality, congenital Achilles contracture, congenital leg length discrepancy, bony abnormalities, developmental dysplasia of hip, normal variant, acquired leg length discrepancy, trauma, tumor, infection, avascular necrosis of hip, slipped capital femoral epiphysis, neuromuscular disorder, torsion, dystonia. Internal medial tibial torsion is a most common cause of entowing in children younger than three years. It is usually bilateral, if unilateral and associated with the Boeing, virus deformity, pathologic skeletal abnormalities need to be considered. Normal bony remodeling typically decreases the degree of tibial torsion to the normal expected range by early school age. Internal medial tib femoral torsion, also referred as excessive femoral antiversion, is the most common cause of entowing in children older than two years. Females are affected more often than males. In the addition to W sitting, affected children frequently exhibit generalized ligamentous laxity. And at vastic grade two or dynamic hallux adductus, searches or wanders medially when walking and gives the impression of dynamic entering process. The abnormality is not evident at rest. Metatarsus adductus is commonly presumed to be an effect, effect of uh, in utero modeling compression in the developing foot, subtle ortho, uh, orthopedic abnormalities, muscle imbalance, subluxation may also be factors. The forefoot is abducted and occasionally suspended relative to the normal midfoot and headfoot, making the foot appearance C-shaped with the medial border concave and the lateral border convex. Assessment of the mobility of the deformity is very important. Feet that can be manually corrected to neutral or uh, overcorrected are mild cases and may be treated with the stretching and observe. If the deformity is fixed and it, uh, does not uh, actively or uh, passively corrected, referral for orthopedic consultation is indicated. The examination abnormalities of the club foot or talibus equinovarus include a plantar flexion, cavus, metatarsus adductus of the forefoot and midfoot, and equinus and varus of the head foot. External lateral femoral torsion is an occasional cause of bilateral outtowing. Unilateral causes in older children require assessment for slipped capital femoral epiphysis. External lateral tibial torsion is less common than medial tibial torsion. It usually occurs in conjunction with the calcineo valgus foot, a positional deformity due to intrauterine malposition characterized by dorsiflexion and mild aversion of the ankle. A more serious underlying problem, post-remodeling bow of the tibia vertical talus may rarely be associated. Flat feet, pis planus, 
may give the impression of outtowing when the patient is standing. It is important to distinguish flexible in which the arch reappears when the, on the tiptoe from the rigid flat foot, the latter is more likely to be problematic and require treatment. Habitual or idiopathic toe walking may be a normal finding until three years of age. Neurologic examination and range of motion, passive dorsiflexion beyond 15 degree are normally in these cases. Assessment to rule out other causes is indicated beyond the age 3 or if acquired after the patient has been walking normally for a period of time. A small amount of uh, leg, uh, length leg discrepancy is normal. Most children easily compensate for discrepancy between 1 and 2 cm. Torsional dystonia, dystonia muscularum deformans, is a movement disorder that begin in childhood. Toe walking is observed owing to intermittent unilateral posturing, extension and rotation of a lower extremity, followed by progression to generalized involvement. Thank you for your listening.